This milk is way past its expiration date. One sip of this and he'd be running to the bathroom all day. Seems like this kid's just one big problem. Hmm. Hmm, how can I put this? My first impression of this group? You're a bunch of idiots. All right, why don't you introduce yourselves, one at a time. Things you like, things you hate, dreams for the future, hobbies, things like that. Things I like and things I hate. I don't feel like telling you that. My dreams for the future. Never really thought about it. As for my hobbies, I have lots of hobbies. Okay, your turn. You on the right. You first. Well, he's grown up in a very interesting way. All right, next. Just as I thought. Good. You're each unique and you have your own ideas. We'll have our first mission tomorrow. It's a task that the four of us will do together. A survival exercise. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I tell you the answer, you're not going to like it. <laughs> the other 18 will be weeded out and sent back to the academy. In other words, this is a make it or break it pass fail test, and the chance that you'll fail is at least 66%. See? Didn't I tell you you wouldn't like it? That's how it is. I decide whether you pass or fail. Be at the designated training spot at 5 a.m. That's it. You're dismissed. Oh, tomorrow you better skip breakfast or else you'll puke. Morning, everyone. Ready for your first day? Well, a black cat crossed my path, so I had to take the long way. Well, <clears throat> let's get started. If you can't get them by noon, you go without lunch. You'll be tied to those posts, and you'll watch while I eat my lunch in front of you. Well, that way, at least one of you will end up tied to a post and ultimately disqualified for failing to complete the mission. That one goes back to the academy. Class clowns are usually the weakest links. You can safely ignore them. Lowest scores. Losers. Don't be in such a hurry. I didn't say start yet. But you came at me with the full intention of destroying me, so... <laughs> How can I say this? I'm actually starting to like you guys. Get ready. And... Start! Well, they understand that much. They've hidden well. You know, compared to the others, you're a little bit weird. What are you waiting for? Make your move. Why? <laughs> to find out what happens in the story, of course. But don't let it bother you. With your weak attacks, it doesn't really matter if I'm reading or whatever. Don't let your enemy get behind you all the time. Great technique, but I don't think you can maintain it for very long. If the bait is obvious, don't take it. I'm telling you this because you don't get it. You think you get it, which is not the same as actually getting it. Get it? I think I overdid it a bit, but she's got to learn to see through these things. Say that after you get one of these bells. Well, you are different from the other two, I'll grant you that. You have talent, and you were right. You are different from the others, but different isn't always better. They say the nail that sticks up is the one that gets hammered down. Uh-oh, stomach's growling, huh? That's too bad. Oh, by the way, about this exercise? Well, I've decided. I won't send any of you back to the academy. Why do you think we put you on squads? Did you consider that question for one moment? Yes, that's what determines whether you pass or fail. Use your head. Three people on a squad. Why do you think we would do that? It's so basic. Teamwork! That's what I mean. It's too late now, but if all three of you had come at me, you might have been able to take them. Well, anyway, it's over. Exactly. I purposely pitted you against each other. I wanted to see if you could overcome that and put the squad ahead of yourselves. When individuals put themselves above the squad, this can lead to failure and death. The enemy takes a hostage and you've got an impossible choice, and someone ends up dead. On every mission, your life is on the line. 
Did you look at this stone? The names engraved on it? They are a special kind of hero. This is a memorial stone. The names of my closest friends are engraved here. All right, I'm going to give you one more chance. But I'm going to make it much harder on you. Eat lunch now to build up strength. It's your punishment for breaking the rules and trying to eat by yourself. And if anyone tries to feed him, that person will immediately fail. I make the rules. You follow them. Got it? The three of you are one? That's your excuse? <laughs> you pass. You're the first squad that ever succeeded. The others did exactly what I said and fell into every trap. They couldn't think for themselves. That's true. But those who abandon their friends are worse than scum. Mr. Tazuna, before we reach the pier, I want to ask you something. The men who are after you, I need to know why. If you don't tell us, I'm afraid I'll have to end this mission when we drop you ashore. He's a business leader. Everyone knows him. Well, I guess we have no other choice. We'll have to keep guarding you. That's a snow rabbit. But the color... They only have white fur during winter, when the days are short and there's little sunlight. This could be treacherous. As the name suggests, it happens in an instant, without sound or warning of any kind. So don't lower your guard. Well, if we fail, we only lose our lives. Calm down. I'll protect you with my life. All of you. I will not allow my comrades to die. Trust me. What do you two think you're doing up here? That was a little intense for just a sparring match, wasn't it? What's wrong with you two? You've really got to watch this sense of superiority you have. <sighs> well, so much for teamwork. I'm assuming it was you who taught him that technique. It's nothing we haven't seen before. In fact, it's the competition between them that keeps him going. He's afraid that if he does acknowledge them, he somehow diminishes his own. <sighs> it can be hard work maintaining a rivalry. It'll be all right, don't you worry. We'll soon have them back to their old selves again. Cheer up, okay? I'll see you soon. Sorry, but I knew you wouldn't want to sit still for a lecture, so I figured I had to pin you down. Let it go. You've got to forget about revenge. Trust me, for those who follow the path of revenge, it never ends well. You'll only tear yourself apart. And even if you succeed and you get your revenge, what will you have then? Nothing. Emptiness. Hmm, it's an interesting theory, but I'm afraid you're a little late to put it to the test. Everyone you're talking about has already been killed. So, it looks like neither of us has led a charmed life exactly, have we? Still, we're not all that bad off. At least you and I have been lucky enough to find new comrades to help fill the void. You've been granted a gift of awesome power. It's not a power to be used against your comrades, or to seek vengeance. I think, in your heart of hearts, you know what it's for. Okay. End of lecture. You decide whether what I'm saying hits the mark or not.